Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Good evening. Hello. Teacher, Hi. yo voy manejando, por eso no he puesto la cámara. Juan José. Sí. Vaya. Este, horrible el tráfico. Ay, me imagino, me imagino. Sí. Desde ayer está así. Sí, hoy lejos, por ahí. Quizás el viento complica más, ¿verdad? Sí, es como un cagado. Todo el mundo saca los tacos. Ah, ahí está. Sí, eso es todo. Que hay el detalle. Sí. Los que no celebraron ayer andan celebrando y que tienen pista. Cabal. Ahí sí, ahí sí. Sí, ahí cuando llegue, ahí, ahí me conecto a la cámara. Ok, perfecto. Okay, vamos a ver. Ready for the attendance. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Here. Carolina. Edwin. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Edwin? Yeah. Edwin? Okay. Hey, Grace Mitchell? Grace Mitchell? Present teacher. Okay, Isabel? Present. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Alfredo? Present teacher. Nice. Juan José. Hello, presente. Nice. Karen. Present. Great. Carla Lorena. Present. Ricardo. Present. Nice. Mauricio. Mauricio. Marina. Presente, teacher. Nice, nice. Eh, Noé, David. Noé, Noé, David. Rosaida. ¿Cómo está Rosy? Teresa de Jesús. Teresa. Yuri. Present, me. David, 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 present Miss okay. Miss 
A ver, Teresa de Jesús, Nogía, Rosa Hilda, Noé David, Luis Mauricio, Edwin, Analicia. Present teacher. Oh, great, great. Ahí estamos. Well, let's see. I'm going to share. ¿Qué tal de frito y de viento? Grandiazo, ¿verdad? Vaya. Look at this. We're going to make a, a mini, mini, mini review. Okay, what is the past to begin? Begin? Begum. No, began. Began. Begin, began. Break. Broke. Bring. Broke. Broke. Bye. Bow. Bow. Mm, eso sí, no sé. Bill. Bill, Bill. Ah, ok. Choose. 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 Chose, choose, chose. El pasado es solo con una O. Ah. Chose. Choose. Y se pronuncia okay. igual, teacher. No, chose. Chose. Sí, chose. Cook. Cooking. Cooked. No me digan el pasado, el, partic el present participio, díganme el pasado simple. Cooking es el, el, el presente participio de los verbos. Pero me están diciendo el past, right? A ver. Eh, cook. 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 Uh -huh. Swim. 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 Study. 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 It. Study. It. Do. 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 Yeah. Speak. Spoke. 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 Make. May. Make. Dance. 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 Right. 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 Read. 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 Se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente. Read. Read. Move. 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 Sing. 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 Sol. 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 It. Eight. Eight. Both. When. When. Down. Thanks. No, it's nice. Very good. That was making memory of what we were talking about last year, right? Today we are going to talk about yeah, banks, money, financial statements. What is a financial statement? 
-hmm. What's the financial statement? You can check in your dictionary. The bank. Look in the dictionary, what's a financial statement? Estado financiero. That's a financial statement. What do you do with that? Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? To know how much money do we have and how can we and how can we use it? Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. That's the purpose of the financial statement, right? To talk about the money we have, or we or the company has, and the use of that money. Okay. Now, let's see. Give me definitions in English. Mm -hmm. Definitions in English? Check in the dictionary. There are dictionaries online. What is a good definition for financial statement? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, Uh-huh. You can tell you know, I would like to share with you a, a definition here. Okay. Financial statements are written records that convey that the business activities and the financial performance of the company. So that convey means communicate, that communicate or that share, right? Or describe if you want to say it. The activities, the business activities and the financial performance. So that means you can say if a company is doing well, uh, financially talking, right? Is the company doing well or is the company in red numbers? Mm -hmm. And the financial statement help us to do that. Uh -huh. What other definition did you find? Hola, hola, hola. Mm. The same definition. The same definition. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, teacher, I have another one. Okay. I'm just, I just, it is, okay, I am going to read it. It said, financial statements are a collection of summary levels 
reports about an organization's financial reports, financial position, and cash flows. They include in income or income and statements, balance sheet, balance sheet and statement of cash flow. Okay, very good. So that means that they include everything. The money that you receive, the money that you spend, the money, all, all the money that, that crosses the company, right? That enters and goes out from the company, good? Great, great. Thank you, Anna. Now, as we're going to be talking about banks, we're going to practice this conversation. What do you do at a bank? One of the things that we do at a bank is opening a bank account, or as you can say, setting a bank account. <coughs> Okay, repeat after me. How are you doing today? How are you, How doing, are you today? doing today? Great, thanks. Great, Great thanks. thanks. What, can, what can I help you with? What what can I help how can I help you with? <laughs> You can change this question with this. How? Wow. Another way, right? Oh. How can oh. I help? Okay. That's another way that you can use here. Okay. How can I help you? How can I help, can I help you? you? I would like to open a bank account. I would, I would like, like to, to open, open a bank account. account. What kind would you like to open? What, what kind would you like, would you like to, open? to open? I need a checking account. I need a checking account. account. I need a checking account. I need a checking account. I need a checking account. Um, you also like to open a savings account? Oh, you also like to open a savings account? Would you also like to open a savings account? Would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. Thanks. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. In order to open the account, in order, to open this in order account. to open this account, in order to open this account, in order to open this account, account, you need to deposit minimum of fifty dollars. You need to deposit fifty dollars. You need to deposit a minimum of fifty dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I want, I want to, want to deposit $300. $300. $300. Set up your accounts for you right now. I set up your accounts for, account for you right now. I set up your accounts for you right now. I set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure to put 150 in each account. Make sure to put 150 in each account. Okay, one more time. How, how are you doing today? How are you, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Great. Great thing. Great. How can I help you? How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. I would like to open a bank account. 
kind would you like to open? What kind what would you like to open? I need a checking account. I need a checking account. Would you like? Uh, would you also like to open a savings account? Would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. That's fine. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit minimum of fifty dollars. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of fifty dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. I set up your account right now. Make sure to put one hundred fifty in each account. Make sure, Make sure to put one hundred fifty in each account. account. Okay, very good. Now we have a second conversation. In this case, uh, we are going to be making a deposit, right? How are you? How are you? How are you? Fantastic. I'm fantastic. What can I help you with? What can, can, can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. I, I want, want to make, make a deposit, deposit today. today. I want to make a deposit today. I want to I make, want a, to deposit make a deposit today. today. How much do you want to deposit? I want to make a deposit, deposit today. How much do you want to deposit? How much I want to, to make a deposit today. I need to deposit $300. I need, I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit it into my checking account. Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. That's all I need today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, one more time. How are you? Why are you? Fantastic. I'm fantastic. What can I help you with? What can I help with? I want to make a deposit today. I want to make a deposit today. Okay. Cash or check? Cash or shake? How much do you? Uh, oh, I'll be. It will be cash, cash today. It will be it cash, will cash, be cash, cash today. today. How much do you want to deposit? How much, How much do, you do you want to deposit? deposit? I need to deposit three hundred dollars. I need to deposit three hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. What account will you be depositing this money into? What account will you be depositing this money into? This money into. Deposit it into my checking account. Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? What else can I do for you today? What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. Thanks. That's all I need today. Need today. Thanks. Thanks. You can also say that's all for today. That's, That's all I need for today. today. That's all for today. Thanks. Okay. That's nice. Now I'm going to send you to the rooms. I'm going to make. Let's see how many groups. I'm going to send you in pairs. 
going to make six, well, five groups. You go practice the conversations. I'm going to share first one conversation and then I'm going to move you for you to go practice the other conversation. Let's go. First, we're going to practice with the set of the bank account. I'm going to paste it here in the, the chat. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Juan José ya llegó a su casita. Todavía no. Peter, yo también estoy de camino hacia mi casa. ¿Quién? 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 Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo. Vale. Vale. Carolina está en su casa, Edwin y Grace. Grace. Vale, ahí va a tener alguien oyendo y, y los otros dos practican va manejando y no lo van a poner a leer que dio cuerpo vale, ahí vamos ready the conversation is in the chat there you go Share us the share, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna, Anna. Anna. Che, ¿Dónde dijo que estaba el, 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 el diálogo? Ah, pues sí, ya lo mandó al grupo. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí acabo de revisar. A ver. A ver, ahorita. ¿Será que se puede compartir pantalla? Yes. ¿Ya lo tiene? Sí, yo creo que sí, ahorita lo voy a ver. ¿Ya lo tiene, Carolina? Sí, lo estoy. No sé si le aparece. Sí, ahí está. Ay, lo... Es que estoy del teléfono, no soy de la comp. Ah, sí. <risa> bueno, okay. empezamos. Vale, si usted empieza y después nos rotamos. Vale. Ok. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Dollar in each account. Okay. Hoy cambiamos. Okay. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a saving account? That's fine. In order to open this account, you need, a, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want to deposit $300. I set up your account for you right now. Make sure to put 
150 in each account. Ese me cuesta, 100. Vaya, ahora ustedes a. Ah. Ahora soy. Hey, how are hey. you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a saving account? That's fine. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want to deposit $300. I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure to put $100.50 as you have $150 in each account. Correct. Espérenme que me pica la garganta. Un segundito, un segundito. <coughs> Ya tomé agua. Hello, teacher. Nice <laughs> only speak, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, only. Only speaking. Only speaking. I'm going to send you, well, I'm going to take you out, and then I'm going to send you with another person, and, no, ya sé qué. Aquí lo voy a cantar. Ah, no, Saving, es que se me olvida, a ver, saving. Uh -huh. Saving. Saving, saving account. account. Saving account. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ya vamos a estar todos. Es que lo voy a volver a hacer. Ah. Ya estamos hechos, teacher. <laughs> I'm going to send you again with a different partner. No los, no los armé allá porque no me dejaba intercambiarlos, no que solo mover, moverlos para todos lados. Vamos a ver. Let's wait for it to, to close. And I'm going to be pasting the second conversation. Bye. You have the other conversation there making a deposit. And I'm going to make the groups again. Mm. Ana Luis Edgardo, Carla Edwin, Isa, es, Isabel, Juan José y Marina. Isabel estaba con Marina, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Sí. Está con puta. Vaya, vamos a dejar mandar a David con Isabel y a Marina. Ah, con Carolina. <laughs> y es para donde la mande. Va, ahí está. Ahí estamos. Everybody ready? The next conversation is already there in the chat. Okay? There you go. 
making a deposit. Yeah, you go with another person now. Ya la encontró. No, creo que voy a abrir el chat porque no se ha descargado. Entonces, ajá. Pero no en el WhatsApp está. está. Ajá. Sí, es que no se me había descargado. Hasta que me metió ahorita al chat, se descargó. Dale. I am eight. How are, how are you? La voy a poner aquí de todos modos. Hoy me hace más fácil ahorita porque del teléfono estoy. Ah, va. Quiero ver. Para no estar en la otra. Abriéndolo. Sí, esa es verdad. Sí. Yes. How are you? Ok. Inicia y después cambiamos. How are you? I'm fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this? This, this, this no sé qué dice, espérame. Money into? This money into? Uh -huh. Deposit, it, deposit it into to, in, <laughs> se me traba la ley. But deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. Thanks. Okay. Dice que por ahí vincular un dispositivo. Okay, sigamos. Y ahí lo. How are you? I'm, How are you? I'm fantastic. What can I help you? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? I with the cash today. How much do you want? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit it, deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. Thanks. Otra vez. How are you? I'm fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today, thanks. How are you? Did you finish? Sorry, just teacher, finish and practice uh, the all the the conversation, the two conversation. Okay. No problem with present uh, with pronunciation. Uh, in my case, maybe in this the letter A. 
I'll. I'll set up. I'll set up. It's very <laughs> difficult. difficult. I'll set up. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. I'll, I'll, I'll set up. I'll set up your account for you right now. Mm -hmm. I'll, okay. I'll. I are. I'll set up. I'll. Como I'll. I'll set up. I'll. I'll set up your account for you right now. Es la okay. contraction de I will. I okay. will set up, pero I'll. I'll. I'll set up. Yeah. No problem is your pronunciation. I will. No, no. no problem. Okay. You can say I will set up. Okay. I'll I'll set up or I will set up. Yeah. Okay. And you, Isabel? I am um, no. No question. Okay. No question. It's other level, Isabel. <laughs> I'll set up. <laughs> I'll set up. Okay. How are you doing here? Comienzo yo. De nuevo. Okay. Hoy yo. Hoy no. Hoy yo. Ajá. Hoy comienzo yo. Y usted me sigue. Ok. Vaya. How are you? Ay, fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make deposit today. Cash or check? It will because because today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit in one dollar. No, sería three hundred. Three hundred dollar. Three hundred dollars. Como teacher? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. $100. Okay. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? Thanks. I in it today. Thanks. Y veo que ahí está este Grace. No sé si podrá participar. Ok. Sí, solo que todavía voy para mi casa. Díganme en qué página del, del Ay, libro no. es. No, porque lo mandó la teacher al WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. Ahorita. Es. Las dos hojas, ¿verdad? O el... uh -huh. Sí. Ok, comienzo yo en la de que dice setting up a bank account. Ok. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What can would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of uh, $50, $50. I want to deposit $300. I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure to put a one, one hundred, I said, yeah, $150 dollars, mm -hmm. yeah. $150. in each account. Okay, in the second conversation. 
Okay. Si quiere, comienza usted y voy yo en la letra B. Ok. How are you? I'm fantastic. We finished, teacher. Teacher, I, I, ¿cómo se dice? No la escuchamos. No se escucha. We don't hear you. We don't hear me. You don't hear me. Ahorita sí. Okay. Eh, conectado a la, Did you a la red. Okay. Yes, teacher. I finish. No questions, no questions. No questions. Nice. Okay. Nice. Estamos Creo a que... 22 grados en San Salvador. Creo 20. que me, me, me quitó dejar de compartir, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Llevo chico. Ok. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Ana. Okay. Vamos a ver. Everybody coming in a minute. Eight coming. Me faltan todavía que regrese. Can I have a couple of volunteers for the first conversation? Me too. Luis quiere. Luis, vaya Luis. Okay. Ana. Okay. Uh, How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a savings account? Uh, this field. In order to open this account, you need to deposit or deposit a minimum of fifty dollars. I went to, to the deposit where hundred. Me acuerdo cómo cómo se dice. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred dollar. I set up your your accounts. For you right now. Um. Uh, make sure put where hundred e dollar in. Uh, uh, each account. Each account. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next, next victim. Nice. Nice. Okay, next victim. Who will be my adding? Who? Okay. Karen, you don't get me. But she and Karen. Aha. Very. ¿Quién empieza? Empiezo. Ok. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. 
in order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want to deposit $300. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure to put a $150 in each account. Hey, very good. Make sure you put $150. Más parece peso mexicano, pero. Sí. Digamos dólares. $150. Take it each. 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 Okay. Now, I need two volunteers for this second conversation. Volunteers. Yo. Yo. Okay. Me. Who said yo, me? Carla. Okay, Carla and Isabel. Who was your partner, Fabi? Está bien con Isabel. How are you? I am fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money? Deposited into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Two more volunteers. Karen Janet. Bye. Karen, good <laughs> Karen says me again. Karen ya leyó, ¿verdad, Karen? Leyó la anterior, ¿verdad? Sí. Karen. The, Hello. Uh, other victim. Who's a victim, Karen? Eh, Marina. <laughs> Marina and Yuri. Hello. Yuri, I am eight. How are you? I am fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $100. What account will you be depositing this money? This money, hi. This money into? Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? Pens I I eat meat today. Pens. Okay. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. All means to stop. That's all. That's all. Meat that's today. Yeah. That's all I need today. Nice. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Who will be my next volunteer? One more pair. Yuri. Juan Jose Portillo. Juan Jose Portillo. ¿Y quién? Y Carolina. Vaya. Juan Jose and Carolina. ¿Qué? Okay. Are you? Hey, fantastic. What can I help 
you will. I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? Thanks. Thanks all. I need today. Thanks. <coughs> That's all I need today. Thanks. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, check. We're working with this. Remember in the definition that Anna read for a, what was the phrase I asked you at the beginning? What is a financial statement? Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan cuando les pregunté qué es financial statement? Yes. Ana lo leyó y encontró cash flow, income, balance sheet. Do you remember? Ah. Sorry. Ok. These words were in that definition, right? What you're going to do right now is match this word with the corresponding definition. What is cash flow? What is income statement? What is equity statement? And what is a balance sheet? Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. While you do that, I'm going to call attendance. Eh, estamos en el manual, page 39, activity two. Okay, page 39, page 39 in your mind. Yo me voy a pasar esta. A ver, Ana. Present teacher. Carolina. Carolina. Carolina se nos perdió por ahí está. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace. Carver Halbert, Luca Bockridge was there in a flash. Grace. Grace. Great, Grace. Not here. Mm -hmm. Teacher. No sé si, si ya me mencionó, pero es que pierdo la señal por momentos, pero estoy en la clase. Estoy diciendo great, great, great. Ok, es que no se escucha por momentos, se me pierde la señal y acabo de llegar, teacher. Ah, dale, ok, vaya pues. Se me voy a pedir que me traigan una pluma. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, Grace Michelle, uh, Isabel. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Okay. Uh, Juan Jose. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Mauricio dijo que tenía problemas hoy, ¿verdad? Marina. Presente, teacher. Noé David. Noé. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. 
2 ahí en la no está 2 ¿quieres avisos? Yuri Yuri Alexandra presente and David presente yes. pues sí estamos estamos Are you ready? I'm trying to understand that it has really, really new vocabulary to me.
Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I am finished, but, I, but I'm not sure. Okay. Equal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bye, ready? You told me yes. What about the others? I am going to listen. What is number one? Number one, letter D. Letter C. Letter C. D? No. C. Number one. Okay. Number one is letters D or C. 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 Number one. It reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. That's equity state. Reports a company assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Balance sheet. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. That's the balance sheet. OK. Yes. Reports on the company's incoming and outcoming of cash it's operating, investing, and financing activities. Letter D. Incoming statement. Solo income. B. That read the definition. Incoming statement. Could be cash flow. Mm -hmm. That's cash flow. And the last one summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Mm -hmm. That's letter. Letter B. Any questions over there? The number three, I, I know. Uh -huh. I think the number B. Letter B? Yes, the number three. You, what, what do you, what do you say? Number three, uh, letter B, equal the number four. Aha. Uh -huh. Number four is letter? B. B. And B. number three? A B. Mm -hmm. Two B. Uh -huh. Two B. No uh -huh. letter A? No letter A. What is cash flow?
what is cash flow? Okay, imagine you want to buy something, right? We all have a, a, some money in your company. You buy something that is an outcoming of cash, money goes out. Then you produce something, you sell the products and you receive money, but then you invest that same money in the operation of the company, in the, in the products that you produce again, and then you sell that money and the money enters again, but then you operate again, or you invest the money, you sell the product, so you, the money is moving. Yeah, that movement of the money entering, being invested or being used in the company, in the operation of the company, all the financial activities that you have inside the company, and then going out and going in and, and out, eso se llama, cash flow, ¿sí? in, out, in, out, es como un círculo, right? Entra, entra el dinero, lo ocupa en, la operación, en las operaciones que tiene que hacer o lo invierte o paga deudas de la empresa, pero entonces el dinero entra, ¿verdad? Que sería el incoming, you have income, the outcome es cuando el dinero sale, ¿sí? Entra, sale, entra, sale, entra, sale. Eso es lo que se llama cash flow. Entonces, cuando sale, puede salir en manera de pago de empleados, operaciones, de, 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 de lo que produce su compañía, o, in, o in, inversiones, o cualquier tipo de, de, de cosas que haga, pero que el dinero sale. Entonces, entra, sale, entra, sale. Eso es lo que se llama cash. Y en la, y en la parte B que dice summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits. Entonces aquí veo cuánto entra, cuánto gasto, cuánto gano. Entonces, el profit se refiere a las ganancias que, que la compañía puede estar haciendo. Imagínense que I bought let's say 100 cell phones in $40 each cell phone. But then I'm going to sell those $100, well, I'm going to sell each cell phone in $60. I'm receiving a profit of $20 per cell phone. Pero como no es así nomás de que, ah, yo recibí, lo, lo compré en 20, lo vendí en 60, gané, ¿cuánto? 20, ¿verdad? Lo compré en 40, lo vendí en, en 60, gané 20. Y los otros gastos, los gastos de funcionamiento de la empresa, entonces todo esto se toma en cuenta, ¿verdad? Para esto del income statements. Al final, ¿cuál es su profit? Porque sí, sí obtuvo ganancia, pero de esta ganancia tiene que sacar otro poquito, no solo lo que pagó por el cell phone, sino cuánto le va a pagar a quien lo venda, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay otro caso. Entonces, incomes, entradas, los gastos, ganancias. ¿Ya? And that, of course, in a period of time. Right, that's over a period of time. Vamos a ver, here, uh, we have another word that is uh, that may be new for you. Reports on the changes in retained earnings. Ganancias retenidas. Por ejemplo, cuando usted hace una transferencia, ese dinero no se hace efectivo inmediatamente. Se va a ganar a, a retenido, se queda en retenido. Entonces aquí le puede ser una ganancia retenida. Y este durante el periodo, ¿verdad? De, de este, <coughs> algunas empresas, generalmente aquí en el país, las empresas declaran una mes al mes, ¿verdad, David? Y, yes, it's, it's the month one in a year. Month. Ok, once a month and at the end of the whole year, to, ah, la, la, de, la de Hacienda, right? Ok. Yes. And then here, 
Vamos a ver, vamos al dictionary. What does it mean asset? What does it mean liabilities? And well, that's assets and liabilities. What are assets and what are liabilities? Who can tell me? Assets, dice que son activos. Activos. Ajá. Uh -huh. O bienes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y liabilities. Okay. Uh -huh. Y las liabilities que son pasivos. Los pasivos. Pasivos. No. Pasivos. Pasivos. Pasivos, dice. Ajá. Assets activos, right? Y liabilities. Pasivos. Pasivos. Exacto. Activo más pasivo es capital, decía mi maestro de contabilidad. Right? ¿Se acuerdan de eso en bachillerato? No. Cuando lo ponían a hacer esto. Ay, ya. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Que lo ponían a hacer a, a uno esto. Activo y pasivo. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿A, qui ¿A quiénes le dieron contabilidad en el colegio? ¿O en bachillerato? ¿O bueno, en la universidad? Ay. ¿Mm? A mí. A Carla. A mí y también. David, ¿verdad? Ajá. A mí también. Ok. Te voy. Aquí dentro de esto, estas cositas que están dentro del balance, ¿verdad? El activo y el pasivo que nos van a ayudar. No, ahí hay que ocupar todo esto. Entonces, hay que familiarizarnos con este vocabulario porque el que vamos a estar usando durante esta unidad, no, no parte, ya que es la que está dirigida a finanzas. Any question here? <coughs> Question. No question. No. How often do you make a balance sheet? How often? What is the frequency that you have to present one? Mm -hmm. How often? Carla? All the time you need to do it. Hmm? How often do you have to make a balance sheet? A month. Mm -hmm. Every month, right? Every month. And it is definitely a requirement for every company to have it every single month. Okay. Now let's go to the next activity. Here we have a couple of questions. I'm going to take into account the vocabulary that you already know in these questions. What you're going to do is discuss with your partner, share your opinions with these situations, right? Let's see. Okay. Check this. It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. What do you think about that? Say if it is true or not and give me reasons. Now you know what are incomes and what are outcomes, right? It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes of a company. What do you think? Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the groups then. I'm going to send you to the groups. So you discuss with your partners to agree on a couple of reasons and then you tell me. Remember, go to activity number three, okay? You know the meaning of income and outcome, right? What does it mean, fire? Aparte de ser fuego, ¿qué más significa? Despedir. Despedir, exactly. Despedir. And when you say he carried, in this case it means llevó a cabo, right? That's carried, not que andaba cargando, right? Llevó a cabo, carried, actions to save the company. That means for the company not to break. Maybe the company is now in red numbers, right? It is mandatory. It is mandatory for everyone or for everybody to check on his profits. Profits, remember again, the word profit, to see how much can be invested or spent. What does it mean invest? Invertir. Mm -hmm. What are profits? Ganancia. Una ganancia. Exacto. Vale, I'm going to send you now to the room so you go discuss with your partner and then tell me your results. Okay, if you agree or disagree with those statements. Let's see. There we go. My chicken, Juan Jose, que se pueden unir allí al grupo. Juan Jose, lo he mandado al cuatro. Grace to Hello. 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 <laughs> Sí, sí, che, che, está, che, está en la, la 39, es página 39. Sí. Teacher, y solo vamos a, a, a como hablar. Sí, sí, sí. Just discuss the ideas. Give reasons, right? This year you go to discuss your opinions or share your opinions. No le tomé captura, teacher. No sé si lo puede compartir. Está en su manual. Contestar ah, está en la llamada un momento y me disculpa. Pesterinain en el manual activo. Teacher, verdad que la primera dice que que no es importante, que es importante, no, que es más o menos importante conocer sobre los ingresos. Dijeron que era en coms. No es porque si se fija está en negativo, ¿verdad? Que no es muy importante. No, no, no es muy importante. Uh -huh. For me, it is important. It's important. It's important uh, now about the. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? What pronounce incomes? Incomes. Incomes. 
incomes, yeah. incomes. Ese e, e, incomes es, digamos, ingresos y el outcomes es egresos. Exactly. Okay. For me, it's very important because, uh, how do you say, se sabe, the capital, the, the capital, the, the, the company. And to know that the company is not breaking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The second, the letter accompany other, is the, um, José encontró la página. Sí, estaba preguntando, pero tenía apagado el micrófono. No sé ah. cómo se traduciría la segunda. Y la segunda es uh, The Last Year Company Owner. El año pasado la compañía. El... En la number one, is that important? ¿Cómo? Is that important? Podríamos decir. Uh -huh. Is that important? Um, to come. Espera. I don't understand. Lo que ustedes van a discutir ahorita es la oración. ¿Qué opinan? O sea, ¿qué opinan para ella? ¿Qué opinan al respecto? No es tan importante saber lo que en las entradas y salidas de la empresa donde usted trabaja, o sea, estamos hablando de pero usted puede decir, no, a mí me interesa, lo que me interesa es que me pague. Pero si viera, pero si me tocara ver esa área del balance financiero. Para mí sí es importante, yo tengo que saber para llevar, para, para llevar el futuro. Exacto. So, that's why. Es su opinión. O sea, nadie le va a decir, no, no, no es correcto. Karen tiene que estar de acuerdo. Tiene que pensar que es importante. No. Es su opinión. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Ah, pues este Yuri, eh, for me, it's very... ¿Te parece bien así? Sí. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. Le estamos poniendo un comentario, por si. Sí, sí, it's okay. It's okay. Because you give your reasons, right? Ok. Mm -hmm. the, num the number two. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carries. Last year, a company owner fired many people. Fire es como despedir, verdad? Sí. Fire many people. The owner carried. So, action to say the company. Mm. O sea que despidió gente para salvar la compañía. Sí, porque estaba en bancarrota. Estos son como. Bueno, eso pasa generalmente y muy seguido, por cierto. Oh, sí. O sea que lo. Al final, si no puedes tener el flote, por eso es muy importante el flujo de efectivo, porque vos, si vos no sabes que solo estás teniendo gastos. Entonces vas a estar teniendo mayor ingreso y menos ingreso. Por consecuencia, 
te vas a ir a la quiebra. Entonces, antes de irte a la quiebra, tienes que bajar tu nivel de productividad y tu productividad es tu gente. Uh -huh. Entonces, lastimosamente, nosotros, los empleados, son los que sufrimos. A pagar las consecuencias. Sí. De esas malas decisiones de, de las altas gerencias. <risa> Bueno, ahí sí Creo que es una consecuencia Si no controlas el El flujo de efectivo Y el último Number three Dice It's mandatory for everybody To check on his her Tendría que haber hecho como algún balance Para, para tomar esa decisión Uh -huh. Es decir, porque si despidió mucha gente es porque en base a algo tuvo que haberlo hecho. Ajá, seguramente lo hizo. Y cuando vio que tenía tantas pérdidas, lo mejor que se le ocurrió fue despedir a la gente. Ajá, reportar personal para salvar la Ajá. compañía. Tuvo que haberlo hecho uh -huh. en base a un reporte, algún... Imagino que uh -huh. tuvo que haber sido una hoja de balance. A un balance. Ajá. Entonces ahora, ¿cómo ponemos la comentario? Es que ahí, teacher, que el comentario sería si fue lo mejor que hizo o, o qué o, otra opción tuvo él para, para no despedir a la gente. Do you think it was a good idea? That was the best thing? Or was there another action that the company could have taken? Was it possible to take the action? Or well, <laughs> sacrifice. Could have been vendido activos. Could have been what? Vender activos. Ah, ok. Bueno, piensa yo, para no despedir a la gente. Uh -huh. But if they had already done something like that and it didn't work. If that is the last, the last, the last, the last of the options. Right? Porque dice que fue... Tuvo que llegar a esa, a esa acción. Como último, como última lo que pasa es que solución. Para mí activo es, es lo que, lo que la, la empresa utiliza en caso de yo trabajo. Si mi jefe optara por vender activos, vende una máquina grandísima donde hacen algodón, no. entonces no le sirve de nada porque no... Hay que dejar la gente si no, hay, no existe la máquina para, para fabricar el algodón. Entiendo yo que hay algunos activos que son, son, son este, importantes que no, no se pueden deshacer de ellos. Sí, ya como que llegó a eso último y ya ni modo, como he visto. Uh -huh. Porque en el caso de trabajo, yo veo que optan por eso, por recargar el trabajo y dejar menos personal y que produzcan lo mismo. A pura fuerza, a pura fuerza. And what about if the company, what the company sells is no product, but services? Mm. Okay, también. What, what can the company do in that case? They are not selling products, they are selling services. Call center. Services. ¿Qué hace entonces? ¿Es dar una buena idea? To close the company to, o to say goodbye to the people. What do you think is the best option? The call center no sería. ¿Hmm? Call center. Close the center. No, call, o sea, Como cuando uno llama. Ajá. Como servicio al cliente. 
No, pero es que, vaya, por ejemplo, eh, me refiero yo, en la cuestión de la enseñanza no vendemos producto, vendemos servicio. Mm -hmm. Right? And there are many, for example, this year, many schools closed, private schools. And they closed because of, it was not possible for them to continue. And in that case, eh, I imagine that the first thing they did was to fire people. Mm. But because they didn't have enough students. Later on, the next situation for them was to, to close completely because it was not possible for them to continue working. Probably they didn't have enough students, I would imagine, right? The amount of students was not enough, so they decided better to close because there was no other option. Mm -hmm. In this case, at least this man still has some chance to, to save a part of the company, right? A small place, a small place, a nice view of the city, an apartment downtown with free parking. Yo recuerdo que decía que eso es. Did you finish here? Yes, teacher. Okay, we finish. Excellent. Let's go then. Okay. Vamos a ver. No te quieren venir, ¿verdad? <ríe> Se han quedado. Hasta. No sé. Sí. Okay, ah, let's see, I guess most, yeah, all of you are here, check. What do you think about the first one? What's your opinion? It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. What do you think? It is very important to have to know how much money could you spend and how much money do you earn every month and compare it and then take the decision. I can buy this or I cannot, then it's a bad. If no, that takes us to number two, right? What do you think about the second one? It says it's uh, last year, a company's owner fired many people. So, so, so sorry, bye-bye, I cannot pay you, right? The owner carries such actions to save the company. Mm -hmm. We were asking about it to, not, to try to understand if that position was to save the company. 
within the company. Exactly, that was to say. So that means that the company didn't have any other option. Okay. No way, no way, they had no option. So the last thing that they thought at, about was like, okay, we cannot do anything else, but ni modo, say goodbye to the people and let's say the company. If no, if no, we will have to close the complete company and that will mean uh, leaving more people without a job, right? So that's that was the situation there. What we suppose is that for the company to get to that situation, it has passed some time and they have done different actions before they get to that. So what do you think about it? What's your opinion? Mm -hmm. It's a hard decision. And for the people that, why, that was fired, they probably doesn't expect it. Exactly. The people do not expect that their job will end that way. <clears throat> now, let's see the next one, number three. It is mandatory for everyone, right, or for everybody to check on his profits to see how much can be invested or, or spent. What do you think? How do you understand that situation? It is mandatory. ¿Qué significa mandatory? Una obligación. Es obligatorio. Obligatorio, o sea, no tiene opción, no hay, no hay otra cosa que hacer, right? Que tiene que. Um, to check on, it, on their profits, cuánto gano, right? ¿Cuánto estoy ganando yo? ¿Cuánto dinero estoy haciendo? And then, how much can I invest? How much can I spend? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre invest and spend? Uno es inversión y el otro es gasto. Exacto. Cuando usted gasta, ¿Usted qué cree? ¿Pagarle a los empleados es una inversión o es un gasto? Un gasto. Exacto, aunque suene así de cruel. No va a retornar ese dinero. Y si no retorna, es un gasto. ¿Sí? Pero usted, cuando usted lo invierte, es porque va a sacar ganancia. That's the profit. So that is investment. You make an investment to buy, uh, uh, to get profit. See? La fuerza de trabajo no le da ganancia, es un gasto necesario para esto. For example, the electricity, the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those things, but you have to use them. You have to spend on that. But what is uh, counted as investment is what you are using in something that will bring you more money, right? That would be an investment. Okay. Uh, so, well, you told me, right? It is mandatory that you know how much money you have. What do you think? Yes or no? Is it necessary that I know? Yes, no. Yes. But the investment, yes, is necessary. Antes de emocionarse, ay, quiero comprar ese, esta máquina que está aquí. 
Mm -hmm. How much money are you making? How much money do you have available, right? To use. If no, this can be another reason that then take you to number two. So you bought the big machine that you needed or that you wanted. You spent or you invested your money in any situation, but later on, you didn't think about the consequences that can take you to this, okay? And that's why all these things that we were mentioning before, and especially this, are very important, right? If you keep a balance and you know exactly how much you're making, how much are your expenses, how much are your incomes, to keep a balance, right? That's why the name is balance. So you can continue working, right? And survive as a company. If no, you see in this, uh, these two years, right? Well, the last two years, 2020, 2021, many companies died. Why? Because their expenses continued the same, but the incomes they were receiving were less. Right? So they were ex expending, they were spending a lot of money, the same amount of money, but they were not receiving the amount of money they used to receive before. So the profit that they were making was not the same, right? Or probably there was a moment when some people stopped having a profit and they were just surviving because they said, no, nah, it's just three months and then it will finish. Then no, six months and then it will finish. But after six months, many companies had spent all the profit. They have nothing to continue spending and nothing at all to invest, right? Because the money has been going or had gone just in expenses. Okay, but fortunately the situation is changing so the companies can start making their profits again. Which were the companies that had a, an improvement in this, in this pandemic? Hmm? Which companies? That you could say like, mm -hmm, they, were, they could be investing. Imagine somebody who, well, many people, that were making, uh, or they were suing, right? Then they started making mascarillas. They invested money in a machine. Yeah, could probably they spent all the money they had, but after a couple of months, they got some profit because of the new project that they started doing, right? Okay, now let's go to this part, check. We will, we will be talking about this tomorrow. Right now, I want you to think only in adjectives. So what adjectives, and we will go back to, to, the, to the PPT. We're going to make a list of adjectives. Let's think about adjectives. We're going to make two lists. One of adjectives to describe people and the other one, let's get this. Okay, adjectives to describe people and adjectives to describe things, people. What adjectives can you think of that can be used to describe people and what adjectives would you use to describe things? Because tomorrow we are going to be using so and such, and we are going to use these adjectives. Tell me, adjectives that we use to describe people. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Happy. Happy. 
Ay, sorry, teacher. Me, me, me sacó Zoom. Oh. My convenient. Convin um, for things convenient. I said a uh, smart. <coughs> what did you say? Smart de inteligente. Smart. Describing people, you said. Yeah, smart. Mm -hmm. You can say intelligent too. Confident. Kind. What else? Polite. Hard working. Yeah, you know what is hard working? Trabajadores. Trabajador. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What else? Good sense of humor. I don't know how to say it. you have a good sense of humor. See, sí. good sense of humor. Uh -huh. We can say also responsible, right? Responsible, vamos a mover esta forma para abrirla. Responsible, ya. A ver, thinking about things. Convenient, expensive, ¿qué más? Durable, durable. Uh -huh. Quality. Repeat. Repeat, repeat. What else? Thinking about products. Convenient, expensive, durable, cheap. ¿Qué más? Ajá. Funcional. Mm. Useful. Okay. Useful. ¿Qué más? How do you say the calidad? Good. Good quality. Good quality. Yeah. Three more. I think it can be beautiful. Uh -huh. Modern or moderno, teacher? Modern, yes. Sí, one more. Fácil de manejar o como. Fácil de manejar. O oh, de usar. Como yo sé. Uh -huh. One more, one more. Uh -huh. Easy. No, pero easy sería más para una actividad. Colorful. Yes. Los colores. Okay. Va. 
hoy, quédense con los adjetivos así en mente y pueden investigar otro par de adjetivos. Y mañana vamos a estar usando so and so that we use with different when describing different activities, right? Can be uh, things or can be people. Okay. Well, let's see. Tell me present. It's time for the last attendance. Analicia. Present. Lina. Present teacher. Present teacher. Abel. Abel no está. Isabel. Grace teacher present. Okay, Grace. Isabel. Ahí está Isabel. 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 Quizás él le atrae el micrófono. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Alfredo, Juan José. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Valorema. Present. Eh, Luis Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Ok. Mauricio. Marina. Presente, teacher. No. Ah, ya está, Isabel. Ya vieron que les dije. Eh, Noé, David. Teresa. No, Rosa Hilda. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri. Trece mis. Y hoy le toca quedarse, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Qué es, teacher? Good day. Y Luis, eh, no, David Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, well, see you then, see you, see you tomorrow, have a nice day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Que pasen bonita noche. A dormir. Yeah. Señorita Judy. Alexandra, por favor. <risa> Hello, Miss. ¿Qué me cuenta? Ay, ay. I didn't want to be the victim to that. The <risa> event. Yes, I need Alexandra to sleep. Yeah. <risa> Just nine more minutes and then you will go to sleep. Do you have any questions, Alexandra? ¿Cómo va la plataforma? Uh, solo la de ahora me falta completar, teacher. Eso, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Mm -hmm. Estaba viendo Sean y a ver qué se hizo. De repente, Alexandra, que lo que se Pero al ratito vi que iba subiendo aquí mi tarea. Vamos a ver. No, no, no.
Do you have any questions, Alexander? Yes, Miss. I have. I have a book. A book. When do you see it? Parts of B and simple parts. I am not sure when I can use it. it. Okay, when, when to use? When I can use it, it. Oh, when to use it, perhaps of B, of B, and simple pass. Okay, the verb in the simple past. Okay, vamos a agregar una página. Vaya, cuando cuando estamos hablando del verbo to be, eh, si usted se acuerda, lo vimos antes en present tiempo y ahora en past, perdón. Por ejemplo, el presente nosotros teníamos ¿Sí? You are pero he is he is it is you otra vez porque este you es plural mm. okay. Y de R. Vale, aquí estamos en present. Ahora, ¿qué sucede si la, lo que yo quiero, ya, yo no quiero hablar en presente, sino que quiero hablar en pasado? Entonces, am is cambian a was, ¿sí? En vez de I am, vamos a decir I was. I was. I was. She is, she was, it is, it was. Pero, lo, en vez de are, vamos a usar where. Where. Entonces yo digo you were. Uh -huh. No importa que sea el you singular, vamos a usar you were. Y we were. They were. Así es como, como funciona. Ahora, ¿cuándo usamos el verbo to be? El verbo to be lo vamos a utilizar no con otro verbo, sino que lo vamos a usar. Vamos a poner acá. To be más HT. Verbo to be más adjetivo. Más adjetivo, exacto. Si yo voy a ocupar el verbo to be, lo voy a ocupar con un adjetivo. Lo puedo usar con un noun. Plaza noun. O plus a play. Sí, Entonces ahí usted dice. I was at home yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. Sí, I was at home yesterday afternoon. ¿Dónde estaba? En la casa. Mm -hmm. In the place. You were happy. After class. ¿Qué es happy? Feliz. ¿Qué es happy? Es un adjective. ¿Verdad? Ahora, she was a teacher. Más bien. She was a teacher last year. O he was a teacher last year. A teacher es un noun. 
¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, usted puede usar el verbo to be con un adjective. She was busy. Busy. In the... uh -huh. Uh -huh. She was busy in the morning. Busy es su adjetivo, ocupada. Estaba ocupada. Uh -huh. It was in the park. Estoy hablando de, del chuchito. ¿Dónde uh -huh. estaba el chuchito? In the park. It was in the park. Park is place. Uh -huh. You were doctors. You were doctors. Doctors, nouns. En plural, no importa, porque como aquí ya estoy con los plurales, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. si yo ocupo un noun, le pongo S, porque estoy hablando en plural. Pero si ocupo un adjetivo, por ejemplo, si yo digo, you were hungry at 12. You were hungry at 12 p.m. Hungry, ¿qué significa? Hambre. Um, Viejo. Viejo. Hambriento. Entonces, si se fija, hungry es un adjetivo. A los, adjet los adjetivos, nosotros en español les agregamos ese. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Bonitos, feos, gordos, hambrientos. Pero en inglés los adjetivos no tienen plural. De acuerdo. Solamente los nouns. Entonces, no, ¿verdad? We were hungry. Solamente they were at the office. Where? Okay. ¿Dónde estaban ellos? They were at, at the office. ¿Qué es okay. at the office? Entonces, cuando yo les decía ayer, ¿se acuerda a la hora que estaban cambiando las oraciones? Que de repente me le ponían el verbo to be y estábamos hablando de otros verbos. Uh -huh. El verbo to be no lo puedo utilizar con otros verbos. Solamente lo ocupo con adjectives, nouns, or places. Ok. Pero no con otro verbo. Entonces, si va a utilizar otro verbo para hablar del pasado, con el verbo, aquel verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. I went to the beach, I ate pupusas, I drank soda, o I drank coffee. I, I left early, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso sí, eso sí, se puede poner así, ¿verdad? Ok. Pero no se le puede poner el verbo to be cuando va a ocupar otro verbo, solamente en esta ocasión. De acuerdo, Tiche. No sé si tiene otra preguntita por ahí. No, Tiche. Ah, solamente eso tenía no muy clara ok excelente vaya pues Yuri entonces ahí quedamos eh, que descanse verdad thank you teacher see you tomorrow see you tomorrow teacher okay. good night good night see you see you